to uh, Arjun for uh, arranging and CMS for hosting. So basically, I'm Magnus, I'm from Mata Capital. Uh, I'm going to start off by talking a little bit about my uh, personal background. I'm from Norway, where I enjoyed a childhood with lots of outdoor activities and sports. Uh, skied competitively in my teenage years, did one year in the Norwegian Army, and eventually moved on to an undergraduate degree in a combination of computer science and finance. After undergrad, I moved to the US and did a Master's of Science at the University of Pennsylvania, specializing in artificial intelligence and financial engineering. So having a strong passion for entrepreneurship, I actually got the opportunity to build a New York-based entertainment business while in my last year at UPenn, a company that I eventually passed on to my partner after deciding to pursue a career dedicated to technology investing. Um, in terms of, so following school, uh, three years in investment banking in New York, first in the healthcare segment and then subsequently in technology. Uh, and finally, uh, decided to relocate to London uh, to be closer to my family in Norway and uh, to the European market. When I don't uh, work, I enjoy activities such as uh, skiing, surfing, mountaineering, traveling, and computer programming. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so that being said, covered my personal background a bit. I wanted to, um, to say, I mean, it's obvious I have a strong passion for technology, and I want to use that passion to help build successful businesses in the software segment. So I've spoken about that personal side, I wanted to move on, seize this opportunity to tell you why we believe Nata Capital is truly unique. But first, a few dry stats on our business. Our average initial equity ticket is between half a million and four million euros. We invest in software only, meaning if your business has a hardware angle, it's unfortunately outside of our mandate. In terms of stages, we are focused on Series A. That means businesses with between half a million and four million euros in revenues per annum, approximately. We do provide some seed capital, but stars have to be truly aligned for us to pursue those pre-revenue opportunities. In terms of geographies, 40% of our investments are in the UK, 40% are in Western Europe, and 20% are in the US for the most office. And finally, within kind of the software segment, we are true fans and also experts on B2B. Uh, and, and within that, SaaS is, is a preferred model, as you probably heard many times before from other investors. We do also do some B2C, 20% of our investments, but then we like to go for what we call capital efficient and lean B2C. So I've covered some of those prior stats. I want to, to move on and present to you the four key pillars that we believe differentiates Nanta Capital from the other funds out there. One, we seek to find true potential disruptors of global industries where technology has had a low impact to date. An example is Cycle. It's a Spanish e-voting business we invested in with such a strong security stack that governments and corporations around the world use their products for voting and election purposes. Two, capital efficiency. We seek to help your business develop a capital efficient culture so that your stake as founders and our stake as early stage investors is maintained through scale and growth. Three, we are a global fund with offices in London, Barcelona and Boston. We have true cross-border expertise and we'll use that expertise to help your business achieve its international expansion objectives. And lastly, we seek to help actively with business development. That does not mean getting in the way of day-to-day -day operations of the management team, but that means looking at a portfolio for synergies and using our network to introduce new potential partners, new potential customers, and new potential suppliers to your business at a regular basis. So with that said, I just want to end with a little piece of advice. Don't be afraid of failure. Persistence is key to success as an entrepreneur. So with that said, uh, if you think there's a potential match between your business and our phone, please grab a hold of me afterwards. Thank you.